What's up YouTube? So today we are at Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home of a very famous cryptic monster, the Mothman. We're here, we're gonna check out the museum. We're gonna check out the statue, which we're walking that way now for. And uh, yeah, let's look. Here we got the uh, world's only Mothman museum. Here's the man himself, the Mothman. The Mothman himself. Beautiful statue. Look at that thing. How cool is that? Of course, here's more about the uh, legend of the Mothman. Boy, got a just butt crack. Stop. <laughs> Let me look. Well, it's all muddy right here. Look, just straight up Main Street. <laughs> just got our picture taken here. Now, one thing I will say, a lot of the early, like, Mothman, you know, descriptions, he didn't have a neck. Like, his whole body was just one big piece. So when they yeah. made the statue, they gave him, like, a head. It's kind of weird. You can see it in that picture. But they there. did. They got the big glowing eyes on it which are cool yeah it kind of that's a little better so but i love the eyes look at the eyes the eyes are bolt they can change them get out of my way i'm trying to film they can change them oh dude so God. sorry dude sorry there we go there's the eyes yeah, you can, they have a bolt right there I think it's really cool i'm excited to check out this museum that's for sure it's funny seeing this street the way it is right now and we can't even stand in it because like the mothman festival it was like crazy busy through here. Here we are, the Mothman Museum. Pretty excited to check this out. Haven't been here in years. Here we are in the gift shop. A lot of Mothman merch in here. Mothman for president. We got some of the uh, cups here. A lot of cups, a lot of Mothman for President stuff. Got a bag here, got some hoodies here, got some other uh, cryptics here, various shirts. He's even got, he's even got comics. Look at that. Those are cool. Postcards. Got some cool postcards here. Got freaking coffee, Mothman blend coffee. Kind of a makeshift Lego set. Yeah, you definitely can find something in here to enjoy the Mothman. This is cool. Oh, they got some pins here, button pins. Lots of different button pins. Yeah. They literally have Mothman everything. Here's some patches, some magnets, some stickers. They've got some stuff for the uh, Fallout video game. Coasters, more magnets. Wow, look at this little guy. How cute is that? I have that. Yeah. And of course, for five dollars, you get admission into the museum. It's pretty busy in here. They got some little costumes here. Better explanation of who Mothman is. These are the uh, various newspaper articles of the eyewitnesses for the Mothman. These are really cool to see. Um, very cool to see. Like I said, they've got some Mothman Prophecy merch as well, or screen use props, I guess. Yeah, these are cool. I love seeing these. Look at that. Oh, 
all the different sightings and newspaper articles of the Mothman. Well, this is well worth five dollars. Frick. You can't really talk about Mothman without talking about the uh, Silver Bridge tragedy. Which he's definitely linked to as his sightings were happening. Some people believe it was a warning. Some people believe that he caused it. No one really knows. That's the fun of the fun of the uh, cryptids. And yeah, here's here's some of the props from the movie Mothman Prophecies, as you can see here. Really, really neat to see movie props. Various jackets that were used. Glass that was used. The phones that were used. It's a very interesting movie. There's even a poster back there signed by the cast. Check this out. There's the Flatwoods Monster, another West Virginia cryptic. A little Lego right there. A little Lego Mothman, how about that? That's cool. Somebody made that. I want to make that. That's, that's really neat. Funko Pop from the, uh, that's not from the video game for Fallout. Some more stuff from the, uh, bridge collapse. I think this was used for divers to uh, try to find people under the water. There's a piece of the silver bridge. How about that? That's cool. Styrofoam concrete and used in bridge collapse scene. It's styrofoam. You read that bottom part there, it says, Ironically, the Silver Ridge collapsed exactly 13 months from the day of the original sighting of Mothman at Point Pleasant. Weird. And of course, just to uh, kind of debunk a few things about the Mothman, it's believed that a large crane like this was actually the real Mothman. But, uh... No one actually freaking knows. No one knows. These are really cool to see. I love these old uh, newspaper articles that they have here. More Mothman facts here is he was seen at the uh, TNT area and these are like little diagram recreations of what that area used to look like. I think they tore it down. I don't think it even exists anymore. But that was the original sighting was in that area. Some people think it was a crazy uh, TNT experiment went bad and a soldier had gotten filled with nuclear who knows what and mutated into a mothman and it's possible you having fun yeah you learn anything uh -huh. attack it Sorry, I'm glad that glad these boys are having fun going to this so this right here this is the original handwritten eyewitness of the first mothman encounter written by Linda Scarberry a lot of mistakes in there. Give you a brief su summary. They were uh, in their car and they were driving, saw a big creature, went to run away, and uh, 
We followed them going super fast. Flew by, scared the crap out of all of them. I think they said they were going, they think they were going like almost 100 mile an hour. So that's, uh, that's the original sighting. And then from there it went on and on and on. More sightings. <laughs> These are really oh, cool so to see these. And we got another uh, another Mothman costume here with some Mothman uh, posters in the back. Is this a Pokemon Mothman? Metazoo? They even got a little crane machine here. Looks like it's out of order and I don't see no Mothman in there. Another cool thing. We're going to carry on through here. Got. Here's some more uh, articles talking about the Men in Black now, which originated from Mothman. These guys were showing up to town, telling people to shut up and not talk about Mothman anymore. There's a little thing about Carolyn Harris. Just some pop culture Mothman things here to see. I actually figured they'd have some more Fallout 76 stuff, but I don't really see any. This is cool. This is really cool. I don't know, they might be glued on there. They're probably glued. Men in black. Should have brought. Blackout ones on there. So Carolyn Harris was a local here to Point Pleasant. Um, she would tell a lot of stories. She had the Mothman Diner, and what they did is they kind of dedicated this to her after she passed away. And it's an old-looking diner. It's got her sign in here. A uh, Mothman quilt here, but you can kind of see some of the stuff that was in her diner. It's really cool to see this. It's an old looking diner. Pretty neat. From Point Pleasant, West Virginia, reports of creature sightings, UFOs, and strange phenomena continued for months. I went back several times, you know. I, I wasn't there just once. I'd, I'd get back to New York, be exhausted, and the phone would ring and they... Fallout 76 poster right here. Look at that. That's a fun game. I never played it. I know, no one did. Tag, did you ever play it? I was gonna play it, but I found out it was a multiplayer, so... It was multiplayer. Wow, look at so this. That's cool. It's a letter about the men in black. And a response from Robert F. Kennedy. This is cool to read. I would recommend maybe pausing this and reading it. That was his response to uh, John Keel asking questions. I mean, here's John Keel's letter. You can pause and read that too. Very, very interesting. Some more various memorabilia. I know it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. Oh, is that a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is that a real Yu-Gi-Oh card? That's cool. There's a little thing about uh, John Keel. 
writer of the Mothman f- prophecies. The streams, the river towns, the sea, lodges, all kinds of different things. And I think they've done a pretty good job as far as capitalizing on the tourism aspect. West Virginia is... Some more uh, John Keel things. There's a suit. Man, it's really bright right here. It's crazy bright right here. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Please use that last face you did, dude. Okay, and I think that's it. That's it for the Mothman Museum. We're gonna say goodbye to the old moth. You did get me a little uh, souvenir here. Love that museum. That's like one of the coolest museums on planet Earth. Love it. So cool. We're gonna walk around a little bit here. There are a few more things I do want to show in this video that kind of link to the Mothman. So uh, let's carry on. I think I think this place was haunted. This hotel. I think it's I think it's haunted. This right here. It's uh, called the uh, the Low Hotel. I think it's haunted. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Well, we didn't get very far. Right next door, there's a uh, trading store with a whole lot of various Mothman stuff. They have Mothman root beer, and I am definitely about to try that out. But look at these. Look at these, man. These are cool. Oh, look at this. I'm dropping stuff. Look at that. That's freaking funny. Yeah, they got some cool stuff in here. It's like Scooby-Doo. Look at that freaking beanie. That's cool. Wow. I'm glad we came in here. I got a video of me drinking something. Here we go. We got Mothman root beer. Let's see if it's any good. It's not bad. Not, not that bad. So, like, right outside of the Mothman Museum, they've got the flood wall here. I'll get you a better look. They got these really cool murals here. If you ever played Fallout 76, this is like in the game. So it's really cool to see this. Even this little thing here is in the game. And then there's like a shrine at the bottom of it that's a Mothman shrine. But I don't know what they're doing. But it's really cool to see this. And the game was pretty accurate. They actually had people from Bethesda come here to Point Pleasant to uh, create the game and get the game somewhat correct as correct as they could in the scale of a game so really neat what are you doing all right so it is kind of a lengthy walk from the museum to this but here is a uh, little historical marker here for the silver bridge collapse telling you about it they still got christmas lights up so i'm sorry for that light thing going right through the middle you can still read it though and if you look over here they got a little mural of the silver bridge and another thing there to remember those who uh died Okay, here's the last thing for the day. We're gonna check out this state park here with this giant monument. You kind of see it over there. Here we are. Big old giant monument. This thing is really tall. Okay, so here is why we're here at this park this memorial here for chief cornstalk and chief cornstalk 
was murdered. And the rumor is that when he was murdered, he put a curse on the town. And that is what a lot of people believe is Mothman's curse. It came from Chief Cornstalk cursing the town, which created Mothman. So that's why we came over here. Just to talk about Chief Cornstalk and his link to the Mothman. All right, and that's going to do it for this video. All things Mothman and Point Pleasant. Guys, what would you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty good? Cool. Did you learn something about the Mothman today you didn't know? Not really, but it was cool seeing the museum. I agree. A lot of, not a lot of people around. It's nice and peaceful. Way better than the Mothman Festival, which is fun to come to, but it's super busy. If you want to come down here and like look at stuff and enjoy it, come not during the Mothman Festival. I'm glad we didn't wait in line at the Mothman Festival for the museum. I'll be I, mean, I mean, it, was still it would have been, it, but we'd have been rushed. It would have been like a two-hour wait. Yeah, and so, it was rushed. Yeah, so I, we I got like to take it. our time. I got to read a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you uh, liked it. Till next time. You guys want to sign the wall? Yeah, let's sign the wall.